Hello guys, I welcome to another tutorial on, on ZombieCraft again. This time I'm going to teach you guys how to import like a load of wool into ZombieCraft that you already made in the previous Minecraft save file. Okay, so first thing you want to do is download a program called MCEdit. I'll put a link down that, that in the description. So once you got MCEdit installed, you want to just uh, extract the folder, extract the raw that you get out of it, it into like a folder or whatever you want to. Then you want to run, run, run the program itself. Wait for it to load up. Um, come on. Okay. Now, once you got MC edited up, now you want to go ahead and load a world, and then it should have all your um, safe uh, your world in a folder. And I shall also have the zombie craft world in a, another folder. But don't mess with zombie craft at all. You just want to load your regular any your any uh, your world that you want to basically get the place from. So here we are in my little, my world for my series that I also use for on ZombieCraft. Um, you, first off, you should have a selecting toolbar, kind of like in Minecraft, but for for eh, but for different purposes. Uh, you select tool, brush tool, import, move player, move spawn point, and chunk control. Don't mess with any of them, but the select tool. That's all we're gonna need here, okay? Now, first off, the controls are WASD, simple like that. Look up, look down. You, if you want to get into like a, an easier moving position, um, hold down the right click to move around. Simple. And um, you left, and just you, you can't really move around without it. Like, see. Okay, but first things first. You want to, you want to do is find the building you want to get, or find the area, per se. Now, once you got found your area, uh, my phone went off again. Shit. Uh, sorry. Um, you want to just uh, left click and hold down and hold down and highlight the area you want to copy. You, um, I would recommend copying actually a little bit below the building. That's just my that's just my way for showing copying it. All right. So you just copy down a little bit below the building. If you don't want to, it's no big deal. Anyways, uh, I got my building selected here, right? And now notice how like I didn't select all of it. Well, don't worry about that. You just want to get like a general box around the area. Because if you uh, let go of your right mouse button and just move around, you can actually see how it highlights around it. You can move your mouse to the select cursor over to it and actually expand the box outwards to get the area that you actually want to. And you can move it inwards, raise it up, raise it down, raise the bottom one, if I get it selected, make it the bottom one up, you know, further down, etc. Okay, so after you got your little area selected, it doesn't have to be necessarily be a building, it could be like a whole entire chunk like how I did on. Uh, on my zombie craft world map if you didn't guys and see that I'll also link it somewhere if you guys are just curious uh, anyways once you got a little area selected you want to hit the copy button over here and copy it basically and it'll, it'll show you a little what the what the copy looks like on the little select screen right here and after that which one do you want to hit the save button okay and then we'll just call this YouTube okay so once you once you've done that, basically you're done. Nothing else simple. You just want to get, have the area select, copy it, and save it. So once you do, and then go ahead and just close out of that. Okay, guys. Once you have uh, your YouTube schematic in your MC schematics folder, what you want to do now is go to your run and go to not run, but your Minecraft jar basically. Uh, your Minecraft folder, and then scroll all the way down till you see uh, Z3 maps. Once you're here, you should have all the list of the maps, and then you can go over here. And it's transfer the map over from MC from MC edit schematics folder to Z Z C three map. So I don't know why it's so hard to say. Anyways, now we go to our Minecraft launcher and open it up. Which here? Oop! Come on! I don't like it for you guys. Once we open it up, now we go to ZombieCraft. You should have your your file there. Now just go hit on Edit Map, and then give it a second. Just there, there, oh, there it is. It's running over there. And boom, there's your map right here. See, your map's in place. But um, there, there you guys go. But remember, um, you guys will still have to, you, those guys will still have to um fix it and everything. You guys will still have to, you know, rearrange the, um, rearrange the red lining of the area of the, around the air, the place. Uh, put in your stuff, you know. Put in your stuff, put in your barricades, put in your all, everything else you know that you guys want to. But anyways, goes. Uh, I'm not gonna explain in this video. I'll get, if you guys want to know actually how to edit the map itself with with all this, um, I'll leave a link right now showing you where to, the video and how to edit the map. 
I showed you with this little crappy house. <laughs> but anyways, thanks you guys for much watching. Remember that the video will be linked in the description. It'll probably be out of right now. Link to the video on how to make the map, actually. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is really helpful help to you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything or having any problems, please feel free to leave comments down below and I'll respond ASAP. I do check my comments every single day. Alright, subscribe for more tutorials that are coming up later, and I'll see you guys um, some other, in any other tutorials you guys want me to do. If you have any requests, I will down, I'll be down to take it, alright? So, hope this has helped you, and I keep saying that again, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.